In the second set of notes in section 9.8, we're going to first take a look at a cube and then do some additional examples. Using prior knowledge, let's think about a cube. What's special about it? A cube is made up of six congruent squares. So that means that all faces of this figure are congruent, and likewise, all edges are also going to be congruent. In the example, we want to find the length of the diagonal of a cube if the length of one edge is 14. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my dimensions here, the length, the width, and the height. We know are 14. We could really go around and label each edge 14 as well, but I'm just going to label those three. They're asking us for the length of the diagonal. If we think back to the first video that we watched, the diagonal is created by connecting those opposite vertices, and it physically goes through the shape. And we have a formula for that. So we could find the length of the diagonal by taking the square root of the length squared plus width squared plus height squared. And we know that the dimensions of this shape are 14 by 14 by 14. So I'm doing 14 squared plus 14 squared plus 14 squared, with, which leaves us with radical 588. Using a quad or our knowledge of perfect squares, let's go ahead and simplify that radical. And it ends up coming out to be 14 radical 3, which is the length of our diagonal of the cube. Tomorrow in class, you'll be working on a worksheet that focuses on the diagonals of cubes. And you're actually going to discover something unique about the relationship between the length of the diagonal and the length of an edge of a cube. We'll save that for tomorrow in class. Let's take a look at the two additional examples below. I'm going to go ahead and mark the first one. It says we're using the rectangular prism above. So we know that LO has a length of 7. We know that PS is 24. And we know that RN is 8. We want to find OM and then QM. Well, OM is going to be the diagonal of that face LMNO at the bottom of the figure. Let's take a look up here. We know that PS is 24, which means that LM must also be 24 because we're working with a rectangular there and opposite sides are congruent. Since it's a rectangular prism, we know that this face, LMNO, is also a rectangle, which means that this is a right angle here, angle OLM. So if we look at that, we know that the triangle at the bottom there is a 724 25 right triangle. So we know that OM must have a length of 25 units. Finally, we want to find QM. Well, I'm going to go ahead and trace that here. QM is actually one of the diagonals. So let's go ahead and use our formula that we know. We know that we can find the length of a diagonal by taking the square root of the length squared plus width squared plus height squared. And I think we know all three dimensions here. So we know the length is 24, so we're doing 24 squared plus the width, which is 7 squared, plus the height, which is 8 squared. So let's go ahead and figure that out using our calculators. So we're doing 24 squared plus 7 squared, which is 49 plus 6 squared, which is 64. So we end up getting radical 689. Let's go into A quad to see if we could simplify that any further. So I'm pulling up A quad. You should be doing the same at this time. Let's go ahead and enter that in. Radical 689. Nope, it's already reduced. So that's our final answer for the length of QM. Let's take a look at example two. We want to use now the rectangular pyramid above. So this isn't a square pyramid now like the first example. It's a rectangular one. 
So we know that EF, which is the altitude of our pyramid, or the overall height of our pyramid, and that's 24. We know that AB is 20, and that BC is 46. We want to find first EG, which is our slant height, and then EC, which is one of our lateral edges. All right, so since we know that the altitude, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in yellow, of our pyramid is going to hit directly in the center of our base. We know that if AB is 20, that FG must be half of it. So that's going to be 10. And I think that that's a 5, 12, 13 family being multiplied by 2. So that means that EG, using that triangle EFG, we know that EG must be 26. So EG has a length of 26 units. Let me just go ahead and highlight that for you one more time. This is the triangle that we used to determine the length of EG. We used triangle GFE and it was a 5, 12, 13 family being multiplied by 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and erase that because let's take a look at our next segment that we want to find. We want to find the length of EC which once again is a lateral edge. Keep in mind our slant height here, EG, when it hits that side BC, it's going to form right angles with that side and then also going to divide it in half. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with here. If we take our 46 and divide by 2, we end up getting that BG and GC are each 23. So now we can actually use, let me go ahead and highlight this, we can actually use this triangle on the outside here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the whole thing. We can use triangle EGC to determine our hypotenuse, which is EC. And we can use Pythagorean theorem to do that. So we know that 23 and 26 are our legs, and we want to find EC, our hypotenuse. So in order to find EC, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that our leg squared plus leg squared must equal hypotenuse squared, or a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. So one of our legs is 26, the other leg is 23, and we don't know our hypotenuse. That's what we want to find. So if we take 26 squared, we end up getting 600. And 76 plus 23 squared, we end up getting 529, and that's equal to our hypotenuse squared. So 529 plus 676 ends up giving us 1,205, and that's equal to our hypotenuse squared. And finally, to solve for the length of our hypotenuse, which in this case here is EC, we have to take the square root of 1,000. 205. Now I'm going to go into a quad to see if we could simplify that radical any further. Let's see. So 1,205. It is already simplified. So that means that the length of EC is radical 1,205.